Hey everyone, okay, Kaiser. Welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town. It looks like we've got a brand new update that is hit in this game. This is Be Afraid, Be Very, Very Afraid. Yeah, I said it correctly. It's a seasonal event. It seems like everything is a seasonal event in this game, which is fine. But I miss permanent updates in the game as well. We haven't got one in ages. Before we jump into this though, let's check out the quest line. Uh, July! Summer holidays have started and the kids are out of school, playing in the yards, while the adults prepare for one of the greatest days of our nation. Excuse me, sir. Can you please be quiet? We're about to start recording. Hold on a second. Who are you? I'm here working. You can't just come and try. Oh, you must be Carly. It is very nice to meet you. I am Sir Ezekiel. If you could just move a little to the left. You're blocking my calling, Jacko. First of all, I'm Curly, and I'm not moving. I've been the narrator of this game for the past two years. Whoa, well, man, relax. We get it. You're a classic and everything, but why don't you let us take over for a while? I'm sure you could use a break. Guys, please show Courtney to the exits. No! Curly's gone forever. Now we have that other guy. Expand the promenade, animate, taking pictures, and obtain D4. That's a type of die, right? And I need to build the yard sale. Wait, what is it? What am I doing? Oh, I turn a D4, I need six of them. I guess that's it for now. Oh! Independence pack! So $12.99 Canadian, which is insane, you get two characters, the yard sale, transporter, 75 goosebump bucks, and a whole bunch of other things as well. That's a really, really good deal. Oh, check this out. She's taking a picture in the event area. And speaking of the event area, this is a here. Usually with these limited time updates, this is where everything's going to take place. Let's go back to this though. 24 days remaining. We have to play new animations, craft new items, and play a scene. That's the basis of this game in general, no matter if it's a major event or not. So this is all the different items in the updates. Emily's house, which I've gotten. Hitler's Horseman, I don't have it. 5,800. Sinner's Den, which looks really cool. The Yard Sale. For 2500 This corner for 650 Bunch of billboards. Dungeon stairs. And at the very end, we've got Jekyll with Jekyll's Haunt. I don't know if this is a character or a scene or not. And like usual, there's always going to be this really cool prize that you can work towards as well. For this update, Horror Throne. We're going to need seven monster cards. Seven hero cards, four coin of fate, and five horror crown. That's going to be right here, actually. This is all the different craftable stuff, so to get the D10, we're going to need three of the D4. I think I'm setting the characters off for that. Just vote, suspect pitcher, carousel ticket. You're going to have to play Coco's Clown Academy scene, which I think is permanent in the game. D20, Player's Handbook, Crafter's Item at the HTTV, which is right here, The Emperor, which is the Dragon Lair scene, Vote, and then of course we got Monsters Card, Hero Card, Horror Crown, and Coin of Fate. I don't want to go through all of it, it's going to take too long. This is the Promenade, it just tells you what to do. So if you want to pause the video, you can check this out. Otherwise, let's keep moving. And this is a scene. Which I don't have any of. Oh yeah, I guess I should probably look at the inventory before I wrap this up. So let's see. Hellas Horseman and Jekyll with the Haunt. That's pretty much it. Obviously the reddish, pinkish background for the update. 
These are all the different premium characters and stuff in the game. There's a lot of them. In terms of the heroes, which is Connor, which is 650. And then for the neighbors, nothing else is really going on with this. So yeah, if you've played this game, you know how this works already. But if you don't, this is the overview of what a major event looks like in the game. I think I said this in the beginning. I really wish we would get permanent stuff as well. Because here's the thing. You click the book at the bottom. And you look at the main choice at the top. Normally, these are permanent additions in the game. The last one we got was Deep Trouble, which was ages ago. The side stories are usually the major event. And these are all the ones that I'm missing, which is a lot of them. From Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns on, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll see if I can get anything done in this update. I would like to go for at least one of the characters, maybe the Hellish Horseman, if I can. The thing is, these are massive grinds. And that's fine. It's just if you don't have a lot of time, it can be pretty difficult. Anyways, that's that. And I'll see you soon with more Goosebumps Horror Town in the near future. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.